Good morning, everyone, and welcome to St. Teresa of Calcutta Church and Parish. Would you please join in the prayer for the mortgage, parish mortgage contribution program? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Gracious and loving God, we know that it is by your hand that our parish has been guided to create a faithful and supportive community. As we welcome all members to help build up your kingdom within our parish, we ask that you guide us to be the faithful stewards of the gifts you have entrusted to us by generously giving to the continued growth of our parish community. In doing so, we model the words of Mother Teresa, who reminds us to reach out to others in love and compassion, giving where it is most needed, and share the joy of loving with everyone. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today is the 29th Sunday in Ordinary Time, and celebrating our Mass this morning is our Pastor Father Brandt. Please rise and join in singing our entrance hymn from the Breaking Bread book. It's number 557, Praise My Soul, the King of Heaven, number 557. Good morning. Today we come together to celebrate the 29th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our Mass today is being offered for Red Spataccio. Let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, 
Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, and you alone are the Lord, and you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty and sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord was pleased to crush him in infirmity. If he gives his life as an offering for sin, he shall see his descendants in a long life, and the will of the Lord shall be accomplished through him. Because of his affliction, he shall see the light in fullness of days. Through his suffering, my servant shall justify many, and their guilt he shall bear. The Word of the Lord. Let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Upright is the word of the Lord and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. The the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness, to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. May your kindness, O Lord, be upon us, who have put our hope in you. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you.
A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, since we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast to our confession. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who has similarly been tested in every way, yet without sin. So let us confidently approach the throne of grace to receive mercy and to find grace for timely help. The word of the Lord. Son of Man came to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. James and John, the sons of Zebedee, came to Jesus and said to him, Teacher, we want you to do for us whatever you, we ask of you. He replied, What do you wish me to do for you? They answered him, Grant that in your glory we may sit one at your right and the other at your left. Jesus said to them, You do not know what you are asking. Can you drink the cup that I drink? Or be baptized with the baptism with which I am baptized? They said to him, we can. Jesus said to them, the cup that I drink, you will drink, and the baptism with which I am baptized, you will be baptized. But to sit at my right and my left is not mine to give, but it is for those for whom it has been prepared. When the 10 heard this, they became indignant at James and John and summoned them and said to them, you know how those who are recognized as rulers over the Gentiles, lord it over them. And their great ones make their authority over them felt. But it shall not be so among you. Rather, whoever wishes to be great among you will be your servant. And whoever wishes to be the first among you will be the slave of all. For the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom. For the many. The Gospel of the Lord. Our Gospel today is based on a very human experience, that reality of James and John asking Jesus to be the most important in his kingdom, one who sits at the right and one who sits at the left. And so when Jesus challenges them, do you know what we're talking about here? They really didn't know. They just wanted the authority. They wanted that recognition to be the most important in the kingdom. Jesus uses this example as a way to be able to give one of his strongest teachings in his ministry and in his message. The strongest message is that of service. That you're called upon to serve one another. May the first among you be the slave of all. The Son of Man has not come to be served but to serve and to give his life as the ransom of as many. This was an integral part of Jesus' message and probably one of the most outstanding statements that people had a hard time understanding because they knew that the people who were important were the people who were in power, those who had authority. 
And not so much that our society isn't that much different today. We think of those people who are most important are those people who are heads of companies or heads of politics, those people who necessarily are the ones who show that power and to show that authority to others. And in that very, very powerful message that Jesus gives in the, the gospel today, his response is, such is not so. The person who's the most important and the most powerful is the person who see, serves the needs of all. And that's the challenge that we have when we are called upon to serve one another. Sometimes we think serving one another is diminutive or something that's, that's, that's very small or insignificant. But that's not what the gospel says. The gospel says that those who serve others are the ones that are most important. Obviously, we see this lived out in the life of Mother Teresa, who her response to Jesus' call was to serve the needs of all. And she did that. Today, as we gather as this faith community, we get this simple but very powerful message in the gospel today. And think about those times when we might be called upon to serve the needs of others, that our response should be positive. It should be something that we leap to do to help the needs of others because it is Jesus' call to his followers, to each one of us, that when we are called upon to serve one another, then we are called upon to do what he calls us to do. We ask the Lord today to give us that grace, to give us that strength, to have a positive response to that call of service. That it's not something that's insignificant, but something that's very significant when we are called to serve the needs of our brothers and sisters. Please stand for our profession of faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, life from life, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. Even the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. And we strive for holiness following God's commandments. We turn to him with our prayers that the church may be strengthened by God in spreading her message of salvation to the world. Let us pray to the Lord. That the gospel may be proclaimed to the entire world through word and deed. Let us pray to the Lord. That God may bless all doctors and nurses and help them use their skills to heal and foster life. Let us pray to the Lord that members of our parish community may be given the grace to serve others. Let us pray to the Lord. That those who have died, especially George Ganthart, Sr., that they may see the face of God in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. God of love and strength, please hear these prayers we bring to you today through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our second collection today will be for our parish mortgage contribution program. Our hymn in preparation of the gifts is number 684 in the Breaking Bread book. Give me Jesus, number 684.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <clears throat> Lord, grant us a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action 
of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you so love the world that in, in, in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the founts of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks, you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Nelson, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. <coughs> Excuse me. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and with all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace.
Our communion hymn is number 510 in the Breaking Bread book. We remember, number 510, followed by Jesus Remember Me, number 413. touch you and be healed. Gather all your people and hold them to your heart. We remember how you loved us to your death, and still we celebrate for you are with us here. that we will see you when you come. In your glory, Lord, we remember, we celebrate, we believe. Now we recreate your love grace and mercy, the presence of the Lord. We remember how you loved us to your death, and still we celebrate, for you are with us here. And we believe that we will see you when you come in your glory, Lord, we remember, we celebrate, we believe. Christ, the Father's great amen, to all the hopes and dreams of every Beyond all telling and freedom from all fear, we remember how you loved us to your death, and still we celebrate for you are with us here, and we believe that we In your glory, Lord, we remember, we celebrate, we believe. Be the face of Christ revealed in every person standing by your side. Give to one another and temples of your love. We remember how you loved us to your death. And 
and still we celebrate for you are with us here and we believe that we will see you when you come in your glory lord we remember we celebrate we believe Let us pray. O Lord, grant that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give us in this present age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. We are in need of adoration volunteers on Wednesdays. Please see the bulletin. Our Knights of Columbus are having a membership drive next weekend, October 26th and 27th. There's information in the bulletin today about the pilgrimage to France and Italy in 2025 led by Father Jeff. The meeting will be held on Sunday, October 27th. Our CYO basketball registration deadline is Sunday, October 20th, which is today. See the bulletin and the Knights of Columbus open your heart collection for baby items for birthright is underway. A bassinet is in the chapel vestibule. As many of you saw, our St. Michael statue is in front of our church. It was inspired by Pope Francis's encouragement uh, for the congregation to pray the prayer to St. Michael, which we as a parish have been doing at daily masses. But as now that we have the image of St. Michael, we're going to pray at the end of each mass. And so in the your breaking bread missalettes, it's in the back, inside back cover. And following the final blessing, we will pray the prayer to St. Michael the Archangel. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Have a great day. Our recessional hymn is number 565 in the Breaking Bread book. Immortal, invisible, God only wise. We'll sing verses 1 and two and four of number 565.
Gartenfall. 